came to over to the farm to check out some things and look what happened. Dad's coming with his pickup to pull me out. It got wet. Then my traction control stopped me. But, uh, it is wet right here anyway. I should have known it when I drove in here, but then I couldn't back out. Dad's on his way with a couple chains. He'll be able to sit up there where it's fairly decent and pull me. pretty uneventful. Dad didn't think he was going to have a chain. I thought he was going to get stuck getting to me. But uh, everything worked out just fine. All right guys, since it's a little too wet for me to be out in the field doing a couple things, as you just saw, uh, we're going to haul some corn out. We haven't taken any corn out of this yet this year. So I think today I'm just going to haul a couple loads of town. I pulled the top off. We've got a top that goes over this, and there's only one belt on this. So we're going to put a new belt on it. And, uh, well, not a new one. We're going to put an old one on, but it's a B4250, just like this one here is. So we're going to do that right now. And then uh, get the auger out and get it up here. We'll see what happens here. We'll do one step at a time. Got to fix this first to get this going. First thing we got to do is we got to loosen this up so we can get this belt off. It's already loose, but there's corn in the auger so we can't turn it. So we're going to open this up. And this will hold the bolt. And then there's a nut right underneath here. And we have to loosen that and get the motor down farther. on it there. This is actually the tightener the adjuster for the belt tension. So we'll loosen this down and we'll put that other belt on there.
bolt belt might be stressed real bad. We're almost there with that one. Not quite. We ain't gonna get that one. Well, I say we're gonna find a pair. Alright, we're back here at the farm. Uh, been to Brand a couple times and so far haven't gotten the correct size of belt, so we're gonna put the old ones back on. All right, we have been to Urbana twice. And we're just gonna put the old ones back on. I think we're gonna just go with the one. Because the one is stressed real bad. So we're gonna go with the second one. We got the old belt on there, the new old belt. We're gonna go around and see if we can get other things running, get the tractor running, get it out, get the auger cooked up where it needs to be, and uh, go from there. I think the hopper should be with the auger, so we'll see. We're gonna see if the Oliver will start. I'm sure the gas is turned off on it, so I'll have to turn it on. See if it'll fire. Thank you. 
off, it'll just start again. Alright, we are walking over to get the semi and I think everything should be good to go to at least get one load of corn. So we'll get it out and get it going. See how that goes. Go up here and see what this looks like. This one feels a little faster than my other two then. supposed to rain but I think we're just gonna let it set out for tonight. Maybe if it does rain it'll rinse the filthy thing off a little bit. Need to get it washed here. Uh, we'll get you back here in a little bit. This makes the third load for today. We're not hauling it in. We're gonna save it for the morning. Morning guys. Heading to breakfast first thing with the local farmers. Alright guys, we are back up here to the farm. Those belts are bothered. This belt is bothered. I went and got two more sizes this morning.
protection on it there a little bit, and uh, it should be good to go. like it wasn't even running last time we were here. All right, we're gonna drive straight ahead up there. This here's a pretty wet spot. We're gonna go up there where the, there's more corn stalks. We're gonna turn into the field up there and we're gonna drive across the field. There's a, uh, a blow hole out there and uh, we're gonna stop and look at it. All right, we're back here where the tiles are dumping out. Seem to be dumping pretty good. Both of those are dumping real well. Well, come on up here. There's three more right here that are dumping real well. Well, two more. Now that one there's the main. Now we're gonna run back out here in the field. I wanna show you what the tile looks like. found the hole and it's clear full of water. Now the water is getting through but not very fast. There's a stand pipe up here, a breather pipe I guess, and it's running real hard in it. But there's an obstruction between the, this side of this breather pipe. I'll say there's a hole right here. Right here, there's a hole. So this needs to be dug up here. Because I bet, when you look down in there, I don't know if you can see anything, but it's running really pretty good down in there. So we'll go on up here. Full of water. Now it's moving pretty good, so it is getting through. This is what the hole up there at the beginning the hole up there at the beginning looked like the end of, remember it looked like that last in my last video so the water is getting away just slow but uh, we're still thinking about working on this pile we'll just have to see what it well that's about going to do it guys um, follow the harmless farmer on Instagram and Andy Detweiler on Facebook and uh, if you like what you saw hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing thanks for watching my show guys I really appreciate it